What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jabby. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. And we're going to be checking out Aliens. Just so you know, we're checking out the special edition because Jabby did some research and apparently they added some more scenes in here that just helped to flesh out Ripley's character and her arc a bit more. Oh, dope. And apparently this is like the better Aliens edit. So that's the one we're going to look at. So if you decide that you want to do a watch along with us, which you can do on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykaway, or you can become a member here on Get Jabby, we're going to be watching Aliens Special Edition. So not the regular Aliens. Got it? Okay, cool. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell icon for all notifications so you know whenever we drop a new video. And upvote this video if you are enjoying what you're watching. All right, let's get into this. The first one was amazing. So good. Oh, and if this wait. one's better, then... Ooh. Yeah, apparently it's like a different vibe because it's uh, James, James Cameron. Cameron. So I, you know, we didn't really get to see Ripley do like action hero type stuff. Like really hardcore so maybe in this movie she'll just she'll kind of level up even more yeah yeah i can't, can't wait, wait. <laughs> cannot wait oh yeah i wonder if they'll pick up right where they left off that's cool if so yeah oh that is cool Snow White or something. Yeah, Sleeping yeah. Beauty, you know? Yeah, I'd fall in love. <laughs> like, wow, a space angel was sent. Roll on the green, looks like she's alive. Oh, there goes our salvage, guys. Our what? Our salvage? Maybe they're like, I don't know, they junkers that, or something. Yeah, or they thought that planet was an alternative planet they could have been in or something. I'm glad to see you feeling a little better. Don't trust. They, uh, they tell me that all the weakness and disorientation should pass soon. It's just natural side effects of such an unusually long hypersleep. How long has it been? It's just that uh, this might be a shock to you. It's long. How hey, long? 57 years. Whoa. I think you're damn lucky to be alive, kiddo. You could be floating out there forever. <laughs> oh, gosh. Emotional support. Ca I oh, no. What happened? What do you know? What do you know? <laughs> Oh no! You okay? Is it a nightmare? No! Stop! God! Is it in her? No! Oh God! about my daughter? I really think we should worry about the hearing now because we don't have a lot of time, okay? I read your deposition and it's great. Insurance company guys. You Do you know. have any news about my daughter? Well, we did come up with some information. Why don't we sit down? Her daughter must be older than her now. Age 66. And that was at the time of her death. Oh. It was two years ago. Oh my gosh. I told you. We sat down there on company orders to get this thing, which destroyed my crew and your expensive ship. Are there any species like this hostile organism on LV-426? No, it's a rock. No indigenous life. No. Why don't you just check out LV-426? There have been people there for over 20 years, and they never complained about any hostile organism. What do you mean? What people? They go in and set up these big atmosphere processes to make the air breathable. How many are there? I don't know, 60, maybe 70 families. Wow. They're all overtaken. Maybe they just haven't, like, ventured to that part for some reason? I don't know. Folks, we have scored big this time. Nope, that's a big fat load of hell no. Nope. You can stay inside. I mean it. Be right back. I guess they have managed to kind of terraform it because they don't have to wear yeah. suits anymore. There's an atmosphere. Timmy, they've been gone a long time. It'll be okay. Dan knows what he's doing. Oh! Oh, and it begins. 
you know, uh, of course you're going to bring your dad and your husband back. Ripley, we're going to need to see you again. It turns out everything you said was true. Yeah. You guys throw me at the wolves, and now you want me to go back out there? Forget it. It's not my problem. Yeah. Can I finish? No. There's no way. Don't blame you. I am not going back, and I am... I would not be any good to you if I did. Would you do me a favor? Just think about it. It's an expensive card. Mm-hmm. Is he in Terminator 2? I feel like he looks like the new Terminator. Oh, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? the liquid Terminator. No, is he? It could be wrong. Kind of looks like him to me. You're going out there to destroy them, right? Not to bring back, but to wipe them out. That's the plan. You have my word on it. Hmm. I don't know, fam. All right, I'm in. I think. I mean, she might as well. Her daughter's not here. She doesn't have her family. That's true. <laughs> hey, Bishop, man. Do the thing with the oh, please. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do it, man. This is great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. If any trope is being lived out, it's that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, bro. Hey, what are you doing, man? Hey, what are you doing? Don't come move. on, quit messing around, Drake. Right? Come on. Hey, not me, man. Yeah, you. Hey, come on, quit messing around. Don't come move. On. Oh. oh. There you go, short <laughs> That's got to come back. Yeah. That That's not just, like, some random. That's a special skill. You never said anything about an android being on board. Why not? It never never occurred to me. I prefer the term artificial person myself. Ripley's last trip out, this, the artificial person malfunctioned. Malfunctioned? There were problems and uh, a few deaths were involved. That kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really trusting that guy to begin with. And then now he's all like omitting information, pretending like he didn't know that she would be yeah. upset. Come on now. And then making her be kind of like racist or speciest, I guess, like yeah. making her look like the bad guy, but I don't blame her. We sat down on LV-426. One of our crew members was brought back on board with something attached to his face, some kind of parasite. Look, man, I only need to know where they are. Too arrogant. One of those things managed to wipe out my entire crew in less than 24 hours. Do you understand? I want DCS and tactical database assimilation by 0830. They need to understand that they're like blood is acid. Oh yeah, yeah, they didn't even get to all of that stuff. Cause they just kept talking. I feel like kind of a fifth wheel around here. Is there anything I can do? I don't know, is there anything you can do? Well, I can drive that loader. I have a class two rating. Bro, are you eating that? <laughs> <laughs> Where you want it? <laughs> Bay 12, please. Why are they laughing? I think they because they feel stupid for not believing that oh. she was a badass. I hope. <laughs> I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt this time. She has amazing arms, though. Yeah. I think she really is that strong. <laughs> like, those pull-ups probably were her. Yeah. All right, people. On the running line. Are you me? Yeah. Are you me? Yeah. yeah. Where are you? 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 Hudson, get on the running line. Yo. Pull it out. Pull it out. God damn it. What do you think half the squad's going to go on the first round? Asses. Let's pack them in. Get in there. Oh, you can definitely tell, like, how much bigger this is, just even in terms of the first movie had, like, seven characters. Yeah. Okay, Bishop, let's go. Roger. I'm ready, man. Go! What do other Marines feel about these guys? <laughs> Rough air ahead. We're in for some chop. How many drops is this for you, Lieutenant? 38. How many combat drops? Two. Including this one. What happened to him? He's having a nap? The altitude. Oh. Can pass you out. That would be me. Yeah. 
That's why they train so much in the simulations. Mm. I don't think y'all are ready for this. <laughs> First squad up online. Hicks, get yours in a cord and watch the rear. Vasquez, take point. Let's move! Hudson, run a bypass. Second squad, move up. Flanking positions. Second squad online. I mean, they seem pretty well organized. Yeah, once At they've least stopped talking, right now. they can do their job. Oh, it's not looking good. No. I mean, if it ate everyone in the entire colony, wouldn't it be huge? Yeah, if that's how it grows, then yeah. yeah. But there's obviously a lot of them, right? Because it probably took it to its kids or to the eggs. Maybe. <laughs> It's a cat. Yeah. Oh. Hicks, back up. Pan right. There. You seeing this all right? Looks melted. Don't touch it. It's the blood. You like that? You're going to love this. Whoa. You're gross. Oh my god. Hicks, meet me at the south lock. We're coming in. Roger. It's that slow build. Yeah. For the first one to appear. Yeah. Sir, we got the CPU online. No problem. Good. Stand by in operations. Okay, let's go. Are you all right? No. She has PTSD. Careful, Burke. Oh! oh, God, that's nasty. Ew. Disgusting. Surgically removed before embryo implantation. Subject Marachek, John Jay, died during the procedure. They killed him taking it off. Yo, Hicks. I guess they found more information on it. Hey, Pawn, where are your people? Anybody in D-Block? Oh, uh, that's a negative. We're all in operations. Focus, people. Fuck. Hold up. Ripley. What? Now you, now you want her. She was all like, I didn't even want to come. Why are you making her, like, come to the front? Don't stick your hand in there. Oh. This little kid. Hey. Shh, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, I thought he was smiling. I was like... Grab her, man. We're going to lose her. Damn it. Oh, that's going to be like Check her daughter. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Same age, maybe? Oh, yeah, because all the kids said they played in the vents. So she would know. It's okay. Wait! No, you don't. It's okay. You're gonna be all right now. All right. Try this. It's a little hot chocolate. It's not too hot. Smoking or non-smoking? Just tell me what you're scanning for, Private. PDTs. What? Personal data transmitters. Every colonist had one surgically implanted. Oh. They're within 20 clicks. We'll read it out here. Permanent cell phone. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. Yo! Mm. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. Found them. Are they alive? Unknown. But it looks like all of them. Over at the processing station. Oh. Level three. It's a nest. It's a nest. Looks like a goddamn town meeting. Let's saddle up, eh, Pong? You guys are dumb. All right. Let's go, people. But I guess they have to go. Yeah. 
Hudson, track her online. Left and right, little buddy. Hudson, you got the point. Hicks, watch our tails. Nice and easy. Check those corners. Yes, check the corners. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you heard the man don't punch up. Stay loose. Uh, your transmission's showing a lot of breakup. That oh. means that there's aliens. It's looking like that ship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's what happened. They took over a ship. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Proceed inside. No. Fam. <laughs> but. Nobody touched nothing. Yeah. Busy little creatures, huh? Hot as hell in here. Yeah, definitely is going to heat up right now. Look where your team is. They're right under the primary heat exchangers. So, if they fire their weapons in there, won't they rupture the cooling oh, system? Oh, oh, yeah, she's absolutely right. She's talking about a thermonuclear explosion and adios muchacho. Get them out. We can't have any firing in there. I want you to collect magazines from everybody. She fucking crazy? Hey, what the hell are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language? Flame units only. I want rifles slung. Sir, I... Just do it, Sergeant. And no grenades. Tell them why, yeah. though. Go sit up front. Go on, now! Oh man, just sucking the life out of them? Yeah. How many? Don't touch it. Yo. One. Oh, so many. What? Tuck it over here, we got a live one! You're gonna be alright, you're gonna be alright. No, you're not! Kill me. Just stay calm, we're gonna get you out of here. Don't! Kill it now! Fire! Go! Quick! Yeah. Oh, shit. Thank you. Their hive mentality you might have woken up. <laughs> oh yeah. Do they do they have that? Oh, oh no. Like oh it. no. Movement! What's the position? Everywhere. Yeah. I uh, can't lock in. Talk to me, Hudson! Uh, multiple signals! Oh, there's a lot. Maybe they don't show up on infrared at all. That's what I was saying. Oh my god, it's right behind you. Oh, uh, wow. bye bye. Oh, you just burned your buddy. Oh shit, all of the weapons, all of the the cartridges. Let's rock! Who's firing? God damn it! Yeah. I ordered a whole fire. You didn't tell them why. Yeah. Just shut up! God damn it! Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Sergeant Dog, get the fuck out of here! Yes! Fall back. Fall back, God damn it, now! I didn't fall back. Cut off! Hudson, move your ass! Do something! Fuck! Oh, come on. Yeah, what a bad... Squirt. Just like... Clearly you guys don't know what you're doing. What the hell are you doing? Go, Ripley. Go, Ripley. What? Oh, she's still alive. Open the door! Get out. What, what, what? 
I don't. He's just like <laughs> taking too long. Uh. No, come on! Ah! Well, yeah. <gasps> oh no! No! Oh god. All right. Go. So sick. Ah, but then, like, your tires are gonna get blown out. Oh, that's true. Your whole car. How far can you go? It's all right, we're clear! Ripley, you blow the transaxle! You're just grinding metal! Come on, ease down! Ease down! Ease down! <sighs> but how are you gonna get back? Where is the ship? All right, we've got seven canisters of CN20. I said we roll them in there and nerve gas the whole fucking nest. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Mm -hmm. This installation has a substantial dollar value attached to it. <sighs> they can bill me. That's a great quote. <laughs> this operation is under military jurisdiction and Hicks is next in chain of command. Am I right, Corporal? Yeah. He can't make that kind of decision. He's just a grunt. No offense. None taken. Pharaoh, do you copy? Do it. Yeah. Go, pick it up, Hudson. Pick it up, baby. And now they have to carry this dead weight. <laughs> yeah. This. I hope he hasn't got anything in him. I don't think so, because he was on the ship. True. Move it, Spunkmeyer. We We're rolling. Where's the... Oh, yeah, the android stayed on the original ship, right? Hold on a second. There's something... Just... No! no! Spunkmeyer. God damn it. Well, where the fu... Definitely a lot more explosions in this movie. Wow. Yeah. How long after we're declared overdue can we expect a rescue? Hmm. They don't come? 17 days. Holy crap. Those things are gonna come in here. Not with like that attitude. Before, and they're gonna come in here and they're gonna Hudson! come in here and they're gonna come in here. Yeah. This little girl survived longer than that with no weapons exactly. and no training. Exactly. Right? Hey, Icon. I'll be in med lab. Check on Gorman, continue my analysis. No, you're too excited Fine. about this. Yeah. You do that. Yeah, get him out of the way. He might be the one who saves, like, helps at the end, maybe, if that's maybe. the twist. Maybe. Couldn't we put one of the remote sentry units in the tunnel and then seal that door? We repair the barricades at these two intersections. That way they can only come at us from these two corridors. All right, people, let's move like we've got a purpose. Affirmative. Affirmative. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hudson here. A and B sentries are in place and key. Right. Stand by, arming now. Test it, Hudson. Do it. Fire in the hole! Very loud. We're stealing the tunnel. Here, I want you to put this on. It's a locator. Then I can find you anywhere in the complex on this. Thanks. Doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. Yet. <laughs> Yet. She's going to come in with no family leave with a husband and a daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Take this. For luck. Don't go, please. Newt, I'm going to be right in the next room. And you see that camera right up there? 
I can see you right through that camera. Oh, good. The molecular acid oxidizes after the creature's death, completely neutralizing it. They grab the colonists, they move them over there, and they immobilize them to be hosts for more of these. But each one of these things comes from an egg, right? So who's laying these eggs? Good question. It must be something we haven't seen yet. Hey, maybe it's like an ant hive. Bees, man. Bees have hives. You know what I mean. There's like one female that runs the whole show. Mm. Yes, ah. the queen. Like Ripley. Look, those two specimens are worth millions to the bioweapons Slap division, him. right? Now, if you're smart, we can both come out of as heroes, and we will be set up for life. Do you really think you can get a dangerous organism like that past ICC quarantine? What if that ship didn't even exist? Did you ever think about that? I didn't know. People are dead, Burke! Don't you have any idea what you've done here? Well, I'm gonna make sure that they nail you right to the wall for this. You're not gonna sleaze your way out of this one. Right to the wall. You'd be smarter than this. I'm happy to disappoint you. Another great quote. Mm-hmm. What is it? What's going on? They're coming. Where? In the tunnel. Here we go. Oh, it's going down. Let's go. B guns down 50%. Man, it's a shooting gallery down there. There's so many. There's no camera. It's very pretty, Bishop, but what are we looking for? That's it. Emergency venting. How long till it blows? Four hours. <laughs> With a blast radius of 30 kilometers, equal to about 40 megatons. Wow. You got problems. I don't believe this. I don't fucking believe this. Why can't we shut it down from here? I'm sorry, the crash caused too much damage and overload is inevitable at this point. Oh, man. And I was getting short. Four more weeks and out. Now I'm gonna bite on this rock. We can't align the dish. Well, somebody's gonna have to go out there. Take a portable terminal, go out there and patch in manual. Oh, yeah, sure. With those things running around, you can count me out. Yeah, I guess we can just count you out of everything. That's fine, man. I'll go. I mean, I'm the only one qualified to remote pilot the ship anyway. I may be synthetic, but I'm not stupid. Starting to like him a little bit more. Yeah. Good luck. See you soon. Watch your fingers. Wow. It's a really cool shot. Wow, yeah. D-gun's down 50%. Can't stop them. For now. Well, he made it. And why aren't the doors opening? Oh my gosh, where's her gun? You've got it in auto refuel mode and it's sequencing right? <gasps> okay, good. Stay on it. I knew you were sus. Stay here. It's the med lab. Hudson! Vasquez! Meet me in med lab. We've got a fire! Oh, he can track her. Oh yeah, she she gave the thing to to Newt. But also, if they open, <gasps> no, no, stomp on it. Oh no, you no, can't. You can't. can't. Okay, girlfriend, I appreciate you. You're a smart girl. How did he? Break 
break through because he shot it first. Okay. Don't kill it. I don't know. No, no, no. No. Keep your mouth closed. She can't help it, though. It's around her neck. Oh, no. It's gonna... <laughs> it was Burke. <sighs> I say we grease this rat fuck son of a bitch right now. Yep. That's the best thing he said. He figured that he could get an alien back to a quarantine if one of us was impregnated. Wow. And then frozen for the trip home. Nobody would know about the embryos we were carrying. Oh, God. Wait a minute now. We'd all know. Yes, the only way he could do it is if he sabotaged certain freezers on the way home. Namely yours. This is so nuts. I mean, listen. Listen to what you're saying. You don't see them fucking each other over for a goddamn percentage. Mm -hmm. Period. Anything? Something. Listen, maybe right. Get back, both of you. The signal's weird. It's in the walls. Must be some interference. No, they're all around you. There's movement all over the place. Get back to operations. It's game time. Order. Come yeah. back. Oh my God. Get out. Oh, give me the light. Bro, get your head down. What? Let me go over there. Get him. There's so oh. many. In the first movie, they're like, here's an alien. In this one, they're like, how many aliens? Get it, Ripley. All right. Oh, oh that my asshole. God. Yeah, you're right. They should have tied him up. Yeah. Oh no! Too late. Too late. Too late. We gotta move on. Such an asshole. Oh my god, there's gonna be stuff out there, isn't there? Yeah, Shroom. good. Bye. Snatchy! <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna go in there. Which way? Straight ahead and left! Fraser, do you read me? Come in! Over! ETA 16 minutes! Stand by there! Run away! Is that one six or six zero? 16. Okay. Phew. Yeah. Oh my god. Bro. Run in here! Don't, 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 don't. I mean, I guess it's still alive. Fuck yeah. So for how long? Your leg's gonna fall off. Oh, is he gonna redeem himself? Next. Oh, shit. You always were an asshole, Gorman. At least he wow. was a hero yep. at the end. Don't! Don't oh. fall down! Oh, gosh. Okay, she's small enough. Maybe she can just come back around. So... Hold on, Newt. Don't let go. Drop the toy. Hold on. Gotcha. Don't. She's gonna fall out of the jacket. Newt. All right, you guys have no. to go down. You have to follow her now. All right, all right, all right. Oh no. Oh, is this gonna be like? The queen bee type of situation. Oh, like in this way. here. Oh, yeah. God. Like with all the water. Ripley! Where are you? Can you hear me? Dude, 
Is that? Oh my god, that's a t-shirt. Knut, are you okay? Get her quickly, quickly, quickly. Climb down, honey. We've got to cut through. Wow, the suspense. Yeah. Cover your eyes. Knut! Now don't move. Stay very still. Okay. We're almost there. Hang in there, okay? Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh, the hive is coming. Oh, wow. I know. Hurry. I know. I mean it. Just shoot it. I don't know, maybe you all just need to go down there? I don't know. I want them all three to survive, please. I know, they're like a kind of cute family. Yeah, we've no, had enough loss. Oh no. No! Okay. No! This is no! an American movie. Kids don't die. Yeah, facts. She's alive! She's alive! All right, I believe you, she's alive. No. We've got to go, no. now! Uh, take it off, 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 take it off! Get off. Uh, uh. Go! Come on, you can make it! Does he have a hole in his tummy? I think so. Twenty-six minutes. We're not leaving. We're not. She made a promise. Mm-hmm. I read right. a trivia fact that it said that when they said sixteen minutes, it's actually sixteen minutes. Oh. Like the whole shot. Wow. It's like mom power activated. That you don't hurt my child. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing like a mom who's lost it. <laughs> nope. You now have 15 minutes to reach minimum safety distance. Wish they had like acid protector gear. Yeah, missile up, baby. Mm -hmm. God, she's so cool. Yeah. Suddenly she knows how to do all of this stuff. That's fine though. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Poor baby is gonna need massive therapy after this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are they that smart? Oh gosh. We're right behind you. Hold on. Dang. Wow. She's gotta run away with a they child. Went all out on the explosives. Yeah. What the? Yeah, the, what mom, the? the mom's gonna be there. Oh my god, girl. Yeah, you're about to see their mom. Oh! Oh my god, girl. That is nasty. Girlies, we gotta get out. 
Oh, does it have eyes? Uh, I think it knows you're here now. Oh, ew, what that mouth do? <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Like it's oh. a mom and her eggs and a mom and her kid. Yeah. Is she calling reinforcements? Yep. Yeah. Fire, yeah. She's like, let me out? Or I'll yeah. shoot your babies. I will set fire to your babies. What do you want? What do you want? From one mom to another. That's smart. Ah. That's negotiating, nonverbal. Yep. Mm hmm. Ew. Nope. Oh, sh nope. You should have told your babies to stay put. Wow. Ugh. Okay, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to the kid. Yeah. Uh, behind you. Get out, get out. Smart. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's such a good character. Yeah. You now have four minutes. The elevators. <laughs> Although she did go down like f 15 levels or so. That's a oh, yeah, that's true. It's a, it's a long climb. Oh, it's here. Is she waiting for you? That's not a lot of time. Isn't the blast diameter like 30 kilometers? Wow. They couldn't have left. Uh oh. <gasps> Did she take the elevator? Thank God, get in. Hurry up! Go! Quick, quick! Big, wow. big, big explosion. Whoa. Wow. It's okay. We're okay. Ah, see? Android's not too bad after all. Yeah, it's a good lesson. Had to circle and hope that things didn't get too rough to take you off. Bishop. You did okay. I did. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, dang. 
Oh, my, I knew it was a little too quiet. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Body art. Yeah, she wants the kid. Yes! All right, let's go. Get away from her, you bitch! Right. Oh my gosh, they totally used that line in Harry Potter. <laughs> Did they? They said, not my daughter, you bitch. In the end with, um... Get away from her, you bitch. Come on! Come on! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Quickly, quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh no. Finally, I was like, this is not the day you want your shoes to be yes. tight. Right. Close the thing. You can't shut it from there? Oh, Bishop. Bishop. Wow. Why couldn't she close it from in there, though? Mommy. Oh, God. Not bad for a human. Can I dream? Yes, honey. I think we both can. <laughs> Sleep tight. Hmm. Wow. Right. The stress. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now I can dream. <laughs> that was a movie and that was a sequel. Yeah. And that was a really good sequel. <laughs> Damn good sequel. <laughs> wow. Like not one minute of that was not wildly entertaining and thrilling and nerve wracking and stressful. Yeah. As I was watching it, I was kind of like, okay, well, which one do I like better? And I honestly can't really say because I feel like they're both very different movies. The first one, in a way, I felt more scared because it was just so much more suspenseful. Whereas this one, there was still a lot of scares, you know, like some great jump scare moments and stuff, but it just felt like it was more of an action movie. And it definitely had more story for the characters, like character development, and, and there was more of an emotional connection there. So I definitely really enjoyed it for that. Definitely, I, I like the character development was awesome. And I, yeah, I agree with you. Like the first one was smaller because it was on their ship yeah. with their crew. And this one had way more people and it was outside and it was trying to get out of the planet yeah. as opposed to just like survive in their ship. Such a good sequel. Like I feel like it added on to Ripley's character so much more. Yes. She's, I definitely get why people are like, she's one of the top five best female heroines of all time. She's written so well, and I feel like the Newt was awesome. Yeah. Such a great child actress. 
Yeah, definitely. And and like, you know, we were saying in the first one, she was cool and she was a badass and she was really smart and, and they established her character that way, but she wasn't really an action hero per se. Mm -hmm. Like she escaped because she she was intelligent more so than just like blowing things up and shooting things. Yeah. Whereas we definitely got to see her do all of that in this movie and it was very satisfying. Yeah, I love that. Like she completely leveled up. Yeah. She was like, like, oh, this gun? Yeah, that's my yeah. new little friend. Like, yeah. she was ready for it. And I love the connection that they made between the mother of the aliens and yes. her. And, like, at first there was some negotiation, but then obviously there was... There's no way that that would be any sort of relationship with these types of species. Yeah, no, absolutely not. And it's like, your little baby is about to come out and, like, hurt my baby, so I'm sorry. Like, I have to do what I have to do and burn everything now. The so. budget must have been insane and it was worth it because every shot was so sick and then the explosives yeah. were unreal. The set design, unbelievable. Like I wonder where they filmed and like how much of that is still intact or what was added or I don't yeah. know how they shot it was so well done. Yeah, it was really well done. And I think comparing it to Alien where you know we were saying it felt like a lot of the effects were practical mm -hmm. and like it was special effects rather than VFX and, and all of that. And I think uh, to a certain extent, you had a lot of that here, but then, you know, they really did go all out with some more VFX and whatnot, which watching it now, knowing that this movie was from 86 and it's now 2022, those effects, a lot of those look kind of dated. In some ways, maybe Alien aged a little bit better in terms of look, but I mean, this movie still absolutely 100% works so well even now because it is just really good. I'm glad that they kept the alien seems still practical. Yeah. And like a lot of the goo and the gush yeah. that they used seemed all practical, which I appreciate. Like fake blood just doesn't look good. Yeah, it doesn't. The acid burns and everything looked really cool. And I, I like that they kept three, four-ish people alive. Yeah. Or I guess he's gone now, but they kept him alive, right? At the oh end? yeah, the, the android They were bishop. able to sustain yeah. his yeah. body good yeah. okay so we got a crew back which is different from the first one yeah and, and it still left it so you could leave it open like i have no idea what would happen in the next one i guess it's because you know there's so much suspense because we just keep thinking that something's something else gonna, gonna happen yeah. yeah it's like what i don't what? trust anyone what's gonna happen now so I mean, we know that they made so many of these movies. I don't know if they're ever going to stop, mm -hmm. to be honest. They just keep, seem to keep coming out with uh, a new one because it's just so well loved. And now I completely understand why. Cause yeah. They've built the perfect predator that like, <laughs> makes you understand why it's such a formidable enemy. Because yeah. Like, your blood is acid. Like your body is basically indestructible unless we shoot you with a thousand rounds of yeah. fire and, and bullets and grenades. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely way more exciting in this because, you know, instead of having just one, it was like, how many can we have? Let's just have all of them. Yeah. Like, Be whatever. A hundred. Whatever. <laughs> we'll take them all. And then we're just going to shoot the crap out of them and it's going to be very entertaining yeah. lots of explosions lots of guns and stuff they definitely upped the ante there it's james cameron i mean yeah <laughs> it's interesting because i always thought this was like a horror movie for some reason yeah and it's an action thriller with some horror effects but i feel like to me it felt like a thriller yeah definitely especially this one mm -hmm. i feel like alien is still for me more of a sci-fi horror. Yeah, yeah, sci-fi for sure. Yeah, and then this is just like sci-fi action, mm -hmm. some horror, mm -hmm. but mostly action. It's really interesting how it just kind of changed, you know, like the evolution of this, this franchise from what it was originally, and it, it still works. They picked a really good story and plot line to do with her, with the Ripley being 56 years in the future. Yeah. And then that way they could develop the technology so that they didn't have to be in spacesuits. They could create this yeah. technology to make the air okay. And it just established the story, even though like that's a leap of 
faith, that's like the coincidence that yeah. we're believing in, it works really well for a sequel story. Yeah, and then it, it works well as well in the sense of like, oh, you know, she had a daughter, the daughter yeah. got old and died and that was really sad. But then she gets this new daughter and potentially a new family with uh, Mr. Handsome Man. What is his name? Hicks? Yeah. Um, you know. Dwayne. Yeah. Dwayne. It's a nice little like cute story. Yeah. I like the happy. You know, we love the happy ending. Yes, definitely. And also, I just kind of had the realization that I didn't know going into the movie the theme of corporations versus like the humans or corporations versus individuals was really strong in this. And I think it was kind of hinted at in Alien as well, but it wasn't quite as overt there because they talk about the company and the company being like we need to have the specimen and uh, who cares about the crew like they're expendable and here you see that personified in the character of uh, the guy from the company who is all about like oh no this is worth like millions of dollars we can't blow this up because of you know the technology that we have here is worth millions of dollars the spaceship was worth this amount of money and it's like yeah but it's human, human lives life. here yeah i'm so glad you brought that up james cameron does a really good job of yeah expo right. exposing that in such a great story that you know these people who defend our lives you know who are our armed forces the navy the army the yeah. military whoever it is it's like some people in government find them indispensable and they're not they're like our humans that are protecting us out of their goodwill right like yeah they they find them expendable but they're they're not they're, they're not they're not and yeah. Yeah. Like the fact that for a couple million, you would bring back species that have taken over an entire group of people and families that yeah. have tried to take over this planet is insane, but not too insane because people will do anything for money. Like the greed of yeah. money and the potential of it will turn you so evil. Yeah, and it's like the potential of the tech as well, right? Because I could understand why they would want to study these creatures because, you know, the implications for weapons and, mm -hmm. and whatever is really strong. However, it's like, hello. <laughs> At what price? At, w at what price? Like, they can literally take out entire civilization, civilization of wherever they end up and you still want to get them? Like, yeah. It's interesting because I don't even feel like that's a far leap. No. I feel like that is probably the most realistic thing about the movie. Yeah, they would definitely, the moment we find anything, 50% or more of the inclination of the government will be to how to weaponize. Yeah. And that just is the way the world is. Of course, I'm not just saying America, every country. Yeah. Like, we are so into weaponizing anything that we can find. And so they'd be like, oh, acid blood? How do we do this? Yeah, exactly. And it's like, how much money can we make off of this situation mm -hmm. that, that's happened? Wow. Such a good movie. Such a good I'm movie. I'm so glad I finally saw it. <laughs> Yeah, it was a lot of fun, you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed going on this adventure with us. If you did, don't forget to upvote this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give Steph a follow on her social media and we'll catch you next time. I'm Achara Cook. This is... Steph Sabra. Ciao. Cool. Woohoo. Wow. We did it. <laughs>